Why are you asking stupid questions? Netflix is boring. That's what people who don't have passwords will say. Making a teen drama is difficult, and I feel it's harder than casting people who you think look like teenagers. Look at me, for example. I can stand in for a high schooler. Just, just give me a bag, and I'm good to go. All right, a few weeks ago, I reviewed the original version of All of Us. You need to see it for yourself. And finally, they uploaded the revamped version of All of Us. Is it good? Who knows? So come with me as we review All of Us season one and give our expectations for season two. A roll intro. <laughs> I'm alive. My, my parents, but they're going to kill me. Episode 1, which I will title, This is Very, Very, very bad. bad. It wastes no time in showing us the kids looking over what is probably a dead body. Elijah was like, We need to make sure nobody else finds out about this body. That's how we know it's a dead body. <laughs> Bam! We see the intro. Looks like blood and water to me. <laughs> After, they are taking back in time. It's resumption day. Back when I was in school, I would iron my everything, to be honest. My uniform, my socks, my wallet. There was nothing inside. If only my uniform knew, that would be the last time that I would ever iron it. It wouldn't allow me iron. This is really bad. Congratulations on stating the obvious. But well, everyone is excited to see their friends. And then we get to see Isaac and his sister, Ivy. I think they're twins. The show never tells us anything about them. But their mom is like... Is all to the end. To the very end. My dad never had this kind of conversations with me. He was like, just pass. Even if you have to cheat, man, just pass for once, Prince. Please, I'm paying a lot of money right here. Oh, by the way, this is a rich school, so do not in any way, shape or form compare yourself with the students you see on the screen. They're using an iPhone with three cameras at the back. Right now, I'm using an iPhone with one camera and it's not even allowing me to take pictures. Hi, <laughs> What did you guys do for the holiday? See, my family and I, we booked this trip out of the country on our canal. It was so fun. This is where they come on in a spiritual. This school is just a normal school. Their principal then introduced a new student called Chinaza Benson. Then we get to see how tone deaf rich students can be. Do I have a new addition to your class this session? Young lady, please uh, introduce yourself. I'm Chinaza Benson and I just moved here, from Enugu, with my family. Did you say Benson? Your father must be Chinedu Benson, the Oiri oil magnet. This is the first name the first name for! After this, she immediately feels out of place, and I don't blame her. If I saw kids singing 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I would change schools. But to better understand episode 1, let's talk about each character. And we'll start with Isaac, the smart kid. So smart that the teachers are drawn to him, making him their inside man. I made jokes about this in the other video, you should check it out. Elijah is the bad boy in the group. He only cares about women and having fun. And his own comma is his dad. He comes from a Christian home and his dad is a preacher. And he worries a lot for his son. I will say this, I can't live with this man as a dad. He feels like he's one shout away from popping something and going to the hospital for life. I, I'm not even lying. Dear, what is going is on? Is here now? Ah, is your boy? He came late to church, disrupted the whole ministry. And when he was asked about his sermon, he was just rooted there like a zombie. In front of the whole church! Go did your whole everybody! And if you, you go die now, 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 now. Then we have Chinaza, who doesn't come from like a rich home. Um, they are so poor that the dad bounced a long time ago. Did he die? No one knows. All we know, he said, Sayonara. <laughs> they live in this beautiful house but struggle to pay Nepal bill. I think they are using band Z. <laughs> Only three people laughed at that joke. But not everything with her is bad. Her mom apparently has a good sense of humor. And that's good. At least she can be broke, but funny. And that's all Chinaza needs to eat at night. Then we have Leila. But to better explain this character, I think I have to do this one in person. Mm, yes. Okay, good. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm doing this one in person because it, it makes more sense to do it. Um, so this is Leila. Um, Leila is a student. We all know she's a student. This is her mom. My mom is sleeping with this guy, but we don't know who this guy is. Turns out, it's her dad. That's her dad. And uh, she doesn't want Leila to find out that the two of them are doing things in closed doors. But you see, Leila isn't bothered by what um, the mom is doing. I don't care too. 
She doesn't care. She's in love and she's talking to this guy constantly on them. Um, I think it's a group chat on to go for some reason. So I guess that's it. Oh, uh, wait. I forgot one more thing. Um, this is Marcos. He's an NYC student. Fine boy. Uh, you like him, eh? I'm fine at him, I think. I think. <laughs> but keeping it with the theme of the show, no one is perfect. If you are too fine, you have a disadvantage coming. So for him, something light. He likes them young. It's a PDF file. But yeah, he concocts all this his doings on to go. And that's all. Uh, back to the review. So, he is in a relationship with Leila, which I already established. And she wants to introduce her teacher <laughs> to all her friends as a, as a man. <laughs> if that isn't the dumbest, funniest thing you've ever heard, um, I don't know what you guys are hearing as comedy. Very, very long time. I know my friend Kimichi. Are you, are you being serious? Can't. It's too risky. Don't worry about it. It's just Shalewa and Diane. Trust me, they can keep it secret. Ah, my life is over. <laughs> Baba, don't steal my brand. Baba, don't steal my brand. And the last character we have is Ahmed. He's from a rich home as usual. This is like their starter pack. And there's this party coming up that they're going to do in his house since his parents aren't around. Then we have the party day, the day everything went to Shambu. It's everything you expect. Loud shouts, loud music. Those kids are probably still singing five, six, seven, eight. No, I can't do that with you right now. So Elijah's babe gets drunk and wanted to do things, but my guy knows Twitter. Oh, where's the guy and get out water to drink? And as this was happening, a new episode of To Catch a Pinto was happening downstairs. PDF comes to this party for things because Layla requested he should come. And the next thing we see him bleeding from the head. What happened to him? We have no time to reflect because we have to go to episode two now. In episode 2, we title it PDF. Initially started off with the PDF guy lapping Layla. They say some sweet things to themselves. I was shook. This was me. I actually thought the age of consent in Nigeria went down a decade. Then he started bleeding and I laughed. Ah, it's a dream. It's a dream. Are you scared? You thought you were going to get away with it. Wait up! After what you and your friends did to me. <laughs> look at me. I said look at me! <laughs> But what happened at the party is something we don't fully know. Leila sees her man and is shook that he's dead. But the question nobody is asking is why is his belt unbelted? Unbelted. Belted. Unbelted. Unloosed. <laughs> Those are the questions we need to be asking, not why is Prince not able to say unbelted. Why is he even here? Who invited him? See, that's not important right now. Let's, let's get him mad. Okay? But one update about the night is that Layla took PDF phone. Why? We don't know yet, but we'll find out. All the students are shook. I've used this word like 50 times. Do I not have any other word they get to use? But they are surprised by what happened in the weekend. And the show does everything in their power to tease us. They touch us everywhere, but not in the main place. Naughty, you naughty. 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 You're teasing me, you naughty, naughty. But one person on Feast is Isaac. He only gets invited to church occasions, so I don't blame him, he's innocent. But he noticed that everyone seemed weird. He even asked for PDF, but the, the guy is long gone. <laughs> Smoked. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Passed away. Ma, we have Mr. Marcus today. Right. Um, Mr. Marcus, unfortunately, won't be here with us today. Hmm. But I'll be your substitute teacher until faculty can move things around. I hope it's okay. Then everything went from bad to worse. They found PDF's body somewhere and it was scary. This one got the news via text. This one watched it on TV. This one got called. Shinaza's mom saw it on Facebook. And Leila got her own news from Naruto's group chat on Togo. <laughs> they respected PDF by giving him a moment of silence. And the principal or the owner, I am confused. They need to be telling us who, what, who is who. She gave a short speech that ended with Our books are our weapons. Ma'am, weapons? 
I don't think you should be saying that now. But this is where things get weird. The police comes in and this lady is not playing no games. Her name is Miss Rita. I'll call her Rita. Rita immediately treats them like adults, telling them someone broke his head. And, and she said something about the cerebro. Cerebro. She has something to do with the head. I mean, you do research for him. What's my business? Am I, is, am I like a reviewer? What do you guys expect from me? Go and do your own research. What is cerebro? But they want to know what happened in his last weeks in this school. A couple of students said they saw you arguing with him on Friday. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Then after interrogation, Rita then asks the kids if they know um, his laptop password. J just drop your badge for them, since you won't make them to do your work for you. After this, some weird things happen. Isaac is nosy as usual. Diane fights over the head girl role. Priorities are misplaced in this show a lot. Then Leila gets some really bad news. She apparently dropped PDF's phone in the library. And this is very smart, because when I was in school, I used to tell myself that that library place is cost. Because who, who would decide to just go around? books. Think about that. Who would just say, you know what, let me go around books. Let, let, I want to have fun with books. <laughs> and she never thought they would steal the phone from there. They stole the phone from there. <laughs> Leila, where is it? Leila, what is wrong with you? Leave me alone. What is it? Leila, what is wrong with you? Explain, don't give it to me. Leila, at the end, gets comfortable enough to share her secret with Ahmed, and Isaac stumbles on some messages about PDF. And this, by far, is the worst thing that can happen. And bear in mind, this is going to be a constant thing in the show. No one seems to have passwords on their phone. <laughs> Only PDF had a password. Everybody's phone is accessible by anybody. You, you will see it soon. Watch, watch. What is this? Oh. oh, they sing this song. <laughs> Episode 3 was titled, Who Be This Guy? This is where everything starts falling apart. I genuinely feel they have a better chance on the run from the police than allowing Isaac know their secret. Ahmed tells his dad, and honestly, I don't blame him. I would have done the same thing. Oh, also, this is where they go back and forth from the party to the present time with no actual information on who killed PDF. It was just shaft. Just they go back and for nothing. Who be this guy? Can someone tell me? Have you met before? You look really familiar. But now that Isaac is involved, he tries his. Okay, wait. I did. Wait. You know, I just realized something. Are you trying to link it with Far From Home? Cause I, I'm not lying, I just thought of that thing now. That's a smart move. Cause she's, she was constantly like, oh, I know you from somewhere. That's wild. I just thought of that thing just now. This is, this is not scripted, I'm not lying. Why are you asking stupid questions? But now that Isaac is involved, he tries to help them only because of his sister. And Ahmed confessed that he took the phone, but he took it because he thought the GPS would give away his house. And honestly, that's a valid excuse. Let's move from there to, to something more funny. Elijah so far has been painted as this football underdog. This star is like Neymar. You see him here, shout, pass the ball now. Pass the ball, pass the ball. Then we see him here training students. I don't know what training this is, but they are stretching, I guess. Good news comes his way, finally. He gets scouted and he's excited that he might be able to play for Manchester United one day. Guys, this is massive, bro. Yo, massive. Imagine from City View Heights captain to Manchester City captain. <laughs> That's fun. I'm not cursing him, but he's never going to. I'd rather play for Dundee United. That's a really old joke. And let me explain. All right, I'm going to put Subway Surfers here because I'm about to give you a history lesson on Dundee United. 10 years ago, <laughs> Dundee United was this trend. We, uh, Nigerians, for some reason, found out that Dundee United was an actual place, surprisingly. And because we found out it was an actual place, we started using memes and jokes like, uh, you Dundee, or you be like Dundee United. Our jokes 10 years ago is not what it is now. Now, now we are worse. But anyways, I just wanted to just give you a short history lesson with some of of us playing like around here because our retention is finished thanks to TikTok. It's so crazy that most of you were, were just listening to my voice and watching this. You're, you're not watching me. All right, but back to the review. Ahmed and Elijah start fighting because priorities are missing in the show a lot. I said it earlier. But Elijah won't be able to play for Manchester United because the police starts rounding them up only because Ahmed's dad spilled that PDF was at the party. But hope is coming because Isaac is working hard to just save his sister, by the way. He calls for a meeting and I was interested in this scene until I saw this. 
Now the question is, how did every other person find out about the body? What? Where are the chalks? When I was in school, we used chalks, man. I remember the transition from chalk to markers. I used to lick markers because I was like, what's inside this marker? But thanks to Isaac, we were able to get better info on who came up with the plan of hiding the body. And it's our very own Captain Elijah of Dundee. That's my last time I'm going to say Dundee. You guys are fine. Okay, so whose idea was it to get rid of the body? Oh wow, yeah, everybody threw me under the bus, right? Elijah, was it your idea or not? Yes, it was, but only because we had to think of something quick. The booty would be called short when Miss Rita would come back with new information, so Lila confessed on why she took his phone. I needed to delete some things on it, okay? Things like what? Lila, look, you need to start talking. We don't have time for this. Okay, fine, we had a thing. We had a thing? You and who? Mr. Marcos. Ah, uh, uh, no more speaking roles for him again. We love you like that. Just, not just talk, just walk up and down. They probed Leila because they had already read her messages with PDF uh, and PDF's friend, um, this guy, confessed to it all. His flatmate, Mr. Kola Wale Ario, has told us everything. Down to the fact that Mr. Marcos only went to that party just to make it up. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> so now we know Leila is finished, but not completely. You see, as Leila is getting attacked by Miss Rita, her mom is getting ready for her ex husband. I heard this is like Chris Brown to Elsa Babes. But this man would enjoy his life today. Leila's mom saw some text messages on his phone saying that he owes someone money. Does anybody lock their phone? But he keeps getting threats from Pampi, so she decides to help him with like 5 million naira, I think. And she won't allow him to sing Chris Brown songs again for her in Elsa. Hey, a win is a win, my G. At the end of the episode, Elijah's dad wants him to join the military school. And this leads to the famous kissing scene in broad daylight, which, which is wild to me, but we'll talk about that. Leila isn't finished in this episode. Some students call her a slut because apparently the news with her and PDF start spreading around the school. And this made Ahmed so angry, he tried to fight two boys that were bigger than him. And boom! Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not lying. Boom! Because like there was a boom mic that showed. I saw, I saw it. I saw it. Then, Isaac hit the jackpot and figured out that Chinaza was the killer. It's you, Chinaza. You, you killed Mr. Marco. What? Fear God. Make with the fear God. Why is the end credit not straight? Did, did anyone notice that? It, is, it pissed me off a little bit. Hello guys, before episode 4, if you are still watching, you are the ones I want to genuinely subscribe to my channel because if you got to this point, there's no need for you to not be subscribed. So click on the subscribe button, it took a lot to make this video. Uh, uh, subscribe and listen to my podcast, okay. Bye, 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 bye. Keep watching video. <laughs> Episode 4 titled, Did You Cut Anything? Shinaza is in the thick of it. This babe gets slapped multiple times and then cuts the shortest hair on her head so she can swear for Lila. <laughs> But then, she gave context on what really happened. Apparently, PDF saw this babe sleeping and tried to do the grip. If you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so she picked up the Hedis Award and hit his head. And if you guys listened well, you could hear the award say, every <laughs> song <laughs> was a <laughs> hit <laughs> back to back. <laughs> then Chinaza went new. The slap really did the number on her. My girl was like, I will expose everyone. I don't blame her. I would do the same. I'm like that. I bring everybody down if I'm falling. The best time when I was in school was if I failed, everybody failed. So when my dad is about to flog me, I say, hey, everyone failed too, man. Flog me, but just know everyone failed too, man. <laughs> we only have two options here. So either she reports herself to the police, or it's all of us. Oh, ah, they said the name of the show. Leila went to thank Ahmed for everything he has done for her and Ahmed confessed. He said he doesn't know why he likes her, he just likes her. And he asked her a question, he was like, why this PDF guy? And she said she thought he was matured, he looked like he had his life together. He was also earning 60k from the government. <laughs> Then they kissed. <laughs> um, how I won't like this. Why won't you love his prince? That's what you like. Is that what you like? 
Why won't you love it? Oh yeah, this is the point the color correction gets beaten up more than Chinas. I'm not lying. It goes from, oh, no color, to color, to double color, then no color. You see it, right? It's always weird. Then for some weird reason, Chinaza makes pounded yam and starts praying. And the door keeps knocking. Someone's at the door, hitting the door. Bam, 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 bam. And she kept on praying. And the mom was like, what the, what the hell is going on, my daughter? Turns out it was the police and they wanted to take her in. This this men, these men are like messenger hawks. I love how they didn't handcuff her. They just took her away. They know who recites um the way thing they supposed to recite, you know that thing no um yeah, they like to remain silent. Every everyone you love is at home. Let's wrap everything up. Leah gets told by her mom that she would be living with her dad in Pampe's office since he's still owing them so much money. <laughs> <laughs> then the twist happened. Apparently, PDF was poisoned, and the teacher or principal told Chinaza this. They did some tests on Marco's body and found out that um, it was poisoned a few minutes before the incident. But now the question is who did it? Leila then leaves a note saying, I'm sorry, I can't leave in Pompey's office. <laughs> and she bounced. Honestly, everything I'm saying is true. Watch the show and you'll see. But no one knows who snitched. We find out that Ahmed has always been jealous. So jealous that he magically had poison in his pocket. He was waiting for this day. The poison was probably stale, but it still worked. And he used it on PDF. So Chinaza and Ahmed did it. But apparently, I think he was always going to die from the poison. So Chinaza technically didn't kill him, technically. But Ahmed did it for love. Was it obsessive? Yes. But was it still love? Yes. So I don't blame him. Everyone should have still poison in their pockets. So ask me, who else knew that would be capable of sending Ahmed this message? And that was how it ended. The ending was everywhere, honestly. It, it was a great attempt in doing teen thriller, um, which I liked. Wait. Uh, wait. They kissed? <laughs> I didn't do it like Marvel after credit scene. <laughs> it was a good attempt. Just a ton of issues plagued the show from color to, to just confusing plot lines sometimes. Isaac, for instance, thinking he cleared all the case, whereas it was the easiest investigation I have ever seen. He had no proof. He just went with Chinaza, did not have anybody to collaborate her story, so it was weird. That's so, like I needed something. Like I let him be able to like just be hiding and see Chinaza say something. At least just give me that. Not just oh you are the one that killed the babe because yeah the one <laughs> literally that was it that was it and she doesn't have mumu she doesn't even just accepted oh yeah it was me 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 <laughs> why why oh and lila's disappearance made no sense to me if the killer loves you i'm sorry in any show movie you are the safest person in that movie they are killing you last so you're fine i fear for him the most no one will make him the captain of Dundee. I, I, I lied. I used Dundee again. Forgive me. What did they do well? It felt good to watch. The acting was way better than what I saw in their previous take on All of Us, and which I genuinely appreciate. They did well with a short period of time. I think they didn't have the school for a very long time, so they wanted to just shoot everything immediately, which is nice. Again, again, the acting is way better. I am not lying. Some of these people did better than I expected. And my expectations are low sometimes. <laughs> I'll rate this out of 10, I'll rate it a 6 over 10 because it's good. Also, I've talked for a while, I'm tired of talking. My expectations for the next season, it is going to be called All of Us, El Salvador. They're going to do it in Mexico City and I'm going to be there. I'm going to be the new Layla. Uh, that did not even make any sense. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing, check out more videos. Bye guys.